All right, News Nation DC Bureau Chief Mike Vicara is with us. Uh, Mike, good morning to you. Okay, uh, mind blowing uh, news this morning in this case. Um, you're reviewing some of the reaction that we're getting. I want to talk to you about the political implications, if there are yeah. any, in the race for 2024. Um, how big of an impact will this have? Well, I think it's going to have an enormous impact in ways that are obvious and ways that are subtle, Marnie. First of all, uh, it's an interesting question. The timing of this announcement, the timing of this plea deal, as was just outlined by Allison and Judge Napolitano, was it done from the Hunter Biden side and with an eye towards the political calendar as the uh, he, uh, presidential race really begins in earnest now? Of course, his father, President Biden, traveling to Philadelphia just last Saturday for his first official campaign rally in front of unions. Uh, and there was a lot of talk, a lot of speculation here in Washington about if this drags on, what would the right thing for Hunter Biden and his side to do uh, as the presidential race heats up? Uh, people are not entirely paying attention right now. The public at large here in Washington, of course, were obsessed with the presidential race. Uh, but this sort of takes that off the table now. Uh, and if the reports are accurate and the representations from Hunter Biden's lawyers are accurate, that this puts it all aside, this puts everything to rest, uh, including the tax evasion charge and the gun charge, which incidentally, as the judge pointed out, he's not playing guilty to. Uh, he's agreed to enter what's called a diversion program with the courts. Uh, will that set this to rest from a legal standpoint? Point? From a political standpoint, I think we can expect uh, uh, Chairman Comer of the House Oversight Committee, of course, the Republican, who's been uh, setting, uh, very aggressively pursuing allegations against Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and Jim Biden, uh, the president's brother. Uh, I don't think we can expect them to, to take a foot off the gas pedal at all. Uh, and I think uh, the slap on the wrist quote that we've heard repeatedly from Republicans already this morning is something that we're going to hear more and more. And I think that there's more to it as far as they are concerned. And that is what they regard as influence peddling, Hunter Biden trading in on his father's name uh, in these business dealings worth millions of dollars in Ukraine, in China and elsewhere. So as a legal matter, it may be put to rest now as a political matter. I think far from it, Mark. Uh, Marnie. All right. We shall see. A lot of reactions still pouring in. Mike Vicara in D.C. We'll be checking back in with you. Thank okay. you as always. Over on Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.